next list is uh, yard from yardbarker.com, our yeah, friends they're, they're, over there. They're pretty decent. Um, the most influential guitarists of all time. This is not in a numerical order. Okay. They did it in alphabetical order. Some of which, some of them I wholeheartedly agree with. Some, not so much. Some of them, I'm like, I'm not sure who these people are. Doug says, what's up, crackers? Not much, cracker, what's cracker lacking? Cracker lacking. All right. The first one on the list, fantastic guitar player, Dwayne Allman. Yes. From the Allman um, Brothers. G- Yay! A L L M A N. Not before, Almond. Before I forget, hi, Doug. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, they're not the Almond Brothers. Correct. They don't make soy milk out of them. No. <laughs> that w- it wouldn't be soy milk if it was for almonds, would it? Be almond milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the hell? What the hell is soy milk made from? Oh, my God. Soy beans. Soy beans. Wait, this this coming from the guy. I go in his wait, house. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Before we go any further, where's the tit on an almond? <laughs> where's the tit on a soy? Well, no, I mean, anything, anything you can get milk out of any of you squeeze it hard enough. Where's the tit? On a fucking almond. Don't worry about that. <laughs> anyway, I, I walk into his house. It smelled delicious. Whatever he made, he made like a what was it? A, a uh, baked, baked mac and cheese. Right. Okay. Okay. With 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 beef, but uh, he has two huge containers, and I said, I said, is this for everybody? No, it's just me. I'm going to be eating it the next couple of days. I says, well, why'd you make so much? He goes, well, because of the jar of tomato. Tomato sauce, look at how big the jar is. I said, you don't got to use the whole fucking jar. You can make a small amount and then put the spaghetti sauce back in the fridge. What am I going to do with a half a jar of spaghetti sauce? Next time you want to make something, you can make a smaller portion using that. I don't make pasta, but once like uh, like a couple weeks. Okay. Don't don't argue food with him. I, You'll lose. Yes. It smelled delicious, though. I will say. Anyway. That. Too garlicky. Next. Chet Atkins. Oh, I know that name. Great guitar player. Phenomenal guitar player. From He's a country guitarist. Yeah, he's the guy that came with the diet. No, he's not. Don't be telling people that. He's the guy he's the guy that that pretty much invented hybrid picking. Yes. You're like to, to, oh he, my god. You're, it's playing with a pick and your fingers at the same time. Yeah. Chet Atkins pretty much invented that shit. Next is a recently passed on. Uh, hang on. Doug says the tit on an almond is at the smaller tapered end of the almond. Come on, Eric. Everyone knows that. I I have been educated. Thank you, Doug. Oh, righty then. Next is Jeff Beck. Yes. I guess so. Yeah, he's uh, done. Amazing. Well, yeah, yeah. Every album is something different. He yes. Just, he just passed. Yeah, he just passed. A Did few, he? Wasn't, yes. he with, wasn't he with the Yardbirds? Yep, he was he was part of the Yardbirds at one point. Wow. Uh, Jeff Beck, um, Jeff Beck is what a lot of guitar guitarists aspire to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, un fucking believably good guitar player. Uh, next is Chuck Berry. Rock and roll wouldn't be the same without Chuck You're Berry. You're absolutely correct. Yep, I was just uh, tell, telling Lisa about. Um, she thought that uh, the song "My Dangling" was uh, made up. Re- recently, I says no. Oh. That is that is Chuck Berry. Yes, and that, that. Oh, I know Doug. Doug says he's just messing with me. I know, but oh no, my dingling's been around since like the late fifties, early sixties. Yes. yes. Uh, such a fun song too. <laughs> yes. Surprise that was almost my summertime song. Because, but only you would know why it would be the summertime. Song. Yes. <laughs> Mine was Cause almost... silver bells hanging on a string. She <laughs> told me it was my ding a ling a ling. Well, you know why fucking uh, f- why uh, Frank Zappa's oh, yeah. Mammy Nuns was my yeah about a person that I I'd yeah. rather oh, yeah. forget. Yeah, the list the list is fun, but it's like man, I have tried a hard time finding it every day. Yeah, uh, you just go to the oh no not them page and it's... I do, but it's not. It doesn't always come up on the top. Oh. Uh, well, you have to some. Maybe you have to scroll. Maybe, maybe you should like the page. I was going to say that if if you <laughs> like the page, you know it would show up in your feed. Yeah, tell maybe, me, maybe tell you should me like you, the fucking page. Wait a minute. Tell me you didn't like your own fucking page. I don't know. <sighs> we need a new fucking host. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm going to quit. <laughs> 
I find it every day. I just type in, oh, no, not them in the search bar. And it brings it up. Okay. Uh, Scott Bonser, say that for putting on the hits or whatever. Uh, we had a school. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I remember that, Doug. They did a, a air band competition. Scott Bonser did my dingling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I... Next is the first of many of my guitar heroes to appear on this list. The one and only Richie Blackmore. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. He still is. Of Deep Purple and yep. Rainbow fame. Yep. And, and Blackmore's, Blackmore's Night. Night. Oh, my God. He he had, uh, like, you all, you guys know who Ingve Malmsteen is. Yep. Yes. Great guitar player. Pretentious as all fucking get mm-hmm. out. Um, Blackmore had one of the greatest, um, greatest kind of retorts to something Ingve Malmsteen said. Okay. Ever. Um Momsty's like, yeah, I can play this. And he plays just this fucking retarded ass, you know, r- wicked fucking arpeggio run. You know, just something just like you're, you're just like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. Right. And somebody asked Richie Blackmore what he thought of it. And Blackmore said, let's see him break five strings and still pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> Love Richie Blackmore. Next, uh, Eric Clapton. Yes. Yeah, okay. Influential, yeah. but overrated. Uh, I don't think he's overrated. I do. Well, you do. That's that's a... That's, I know. He's, that, that's, he's, he's done a lot, though. He so. has. Like I said, influence does not equate to good. You have, this, no, you have a was, lot of no, not equal that was, stuff. Yeah, that was... It's true, though. Uh, yeah, Richie Blackmore is awesome, Doug. Uh, the Pilgrim hat does kind of work for him, though. Hmm. Yeah, Doug said he's not uh, not too keen on the pilgrim hat, but it does kind of work for. Is that one of them flat brimmed hats? Uh, it's like a buckle, a pil, a pilgrim. Oh, I've buckle never seen hat. that one. Yeah. Um. Next, Lita Ford. I was actually kind of surprised to see her on this list. Yeah, I didn't really. Yeah. Great guitarist. Yeah, I mean, if you're talking influential, though, I'm sure that there's been tons of uh, women, women that have yes. come up listening oh, to her uh, and said, "I want to be like that." Yep. I I got to agree. Yes. Uh, I I you know what? I never even put that spin on it. Yeah. yeah. That's the first thing that. Came I, to I never even put that spin on it. Next is a guy. He's influential, but once again, influential does not equal great or even good. David Gilmore. D- Doug agrees with me. Clapton is overrated. What's Gilmore from? It sounds Pink familiar. Floyd. Pink Floyd. That's what. <laughs> Another fucking guy who's overrated as shit. I I I, I don't know. You just I just don't, don't know. like Pink Floyd. That's yeah. That's... He's not that good. Listen, you can't. Do you listen to Pink Floyd? I can tell a good guitar I, player I mean, when I hear one. I'm just probably asking. fucking better than you. Was he in charge of that show, Gilmore Girls? You can throw shit at him. <laughs> you can throw stuff at him. I just try to break the tension because I don't want you two coming to blows. Some of his solos in, in live are shows fucking are fucking a joke. I love them. It's boring. It's fucking boring. Next is a guitar player with quality, Buddy Guy. Who's that? Name sounds... I've, I've seen him in a lot of guitar magazines. He's, he's, he's some of that actual like, musicians would like be interested in okay and not people with shit taste in music Who's like he, you no who, who. i mean one of the most generic names ever buddy guy i mean yeah, was his middle name friend it might be <laughs> i'm not your buddy friend. <laughs> i'm not your I, I, you know what i never even thought of that i'm not your buddy guy <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that yeah that's almost as good as dick trickle <laughs> oh god i remember that guy yeah. uh kirk hammett next yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's done a lot. Definitely of... influential. Yeah. Uh, take away the wah pedal. Let's see what he can do. He's still really, I mean... He's he's good, but he's not as good as everybody cracks him up to be. Danny Spitz was a better guitar player. Mustaine's a better guitar player. All right. I'm shutting up. Kerry <laughs> King's a better guitar player. Jeff Henneman was a better guitar player. But Gary it, Holt's but a better but guitar influential. player. influential, I mean... Yeah, Metallica, like I said, influential. Metallica is... Is the overrated? Is one of the biggest bands on the planet and overrated. <sighs> fight me. I'm not gonna fight. I'm not you. gonna fight you. George Harrison. Mm. Uh, well. Influential. I influential. Very yes. influential. It kind of has to be. Uh, it's I Beatles, think all the Beatles, Beatles have to be at, at some point. Yes. 
Yeah. And a better guitar player than fucking Gilmore. Mm, uh, you... No, I'm not wrong. I don't... Jimi Hendrix. Yes, absolutely. For the most part. Rock and roll guitar wouldn't be the same without him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tony Iommi. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Heavy metal would not be the same without him. Heavy metal wouldn't exist without him. Yeah. Uh, B.B. King. Yes. Oh, definitely. Oh, my God, yes. King of the Blues. Lucille. That's right. right. Brian May of Queen. Yeah. Uh, Very influential. I was, Mm -hmm. yes. And his his stuff is, he he always served the song, which is one thing I Mm -hmm. always liked about him. Uh, Joni Mitchell. For for the uh, for for something like the in folk, the wind shit. The well for the for the folk influence. I'll, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll agree with it. She probably she you know Joan Baez and yeah yeah and yeah. Lisa Loeb probably all. <laughs> they, yeah, they all hang out at fucking. No, Little no, no. Affair. What I'm just trying. To, yeah, well, but there was a there's a there's a trend. Meredith Brooks. No, there was a trend of women just doing a lot of cutesy folk music. Right. You know, and where did they get that from? Speaking of women doing cutesy folk music, Jimmy Page. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're yeah, nuts. definitely, That's definitely an influential guitar player and a very good guitar player. I just hate fucking Led Zeppelin. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I'm, I guess, like I said, when we had a, when we were forced to listen to physical graffiti, um, forced, <laughs> I, I, like I would have done it had it not been pulled from a bucket. That's why I threw it in there. Um, I, like I said then. I won't ever doubt the talent of the guys in the band, mm-hmm. but it's just never fucking resounded. Mm. It, it never, it never did anything for me. Um, and and the one overrated guy in the band was fucking Bonham. He's not that great of a drummer. Even from that era, he's not that good. He's not Keith Moon good. He's not Ginger Baker good. He's definitely not fucking Neil Peart. I'm not saying he's Peart. He's not even Ginger Baker. Listen to Cream. Listen to what Bonham does in Zeppelin. He's not fucking Ginger Baker. We've had this discussion. Bonnie Raitt. I didn't even think of that one. I didn't she, either. She is a... She's a, actually a very underrated guitar player. Mm-hmm. She's very fucking good. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of women who would not have gotten into music on the country end of things without yeah. Bonnie Raitt. Yeah. So I can't, I, I can't argue that one. Mm-hmm. I can't argue it at all. Uh, next is my number one guitar hero of all time, Randy Rhodes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, better than, uh, from a technical standpoint, probably a better guitar player than Eddie Van Halen. But Van Halen would have a more have a longer career so therefore the influence is bigger yes um you know it, it would have been great to see apples to apples if randy Rhodes had not have died mm-hmm. and he would have had a, we can't be in the r's we're in the r's we, we're no in. we can't we can't have passed the p's you you missed the most important influential guitar player oh joe Peter perry joe perry God. jesus h christ well, you know what? he's not wrong there's a whole fucking generation of american kids that would have never picked up a guitar. Yeah, if not a, if a Les Paul Aerosmith. specifically. If well, if they can afford a Les Paul. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my God, yeah, fuckers mean, ain't cheap. And and he makes cool look easy. Nah, always yes, he always has, always nah. has. Speaking of guys who make cool look easy, Keith Richards. Yeah. Oh, yes. Damn. Well, <sighs> makes makes cool look like a corpse now. For Christ's sake, <laughs> fucking I, Keith. Keith. I. I I I'm not a, I'm not a huge Stones fan. Yeah. But Keith Richards wrote some great fucking riffs. Yes, oh hell he did. yeah. Got to I got to agree. I got to agree with him being, you know, on any influential guitar player. Mm-hmm. Carlos Santana. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll I, I'm not a much of a fan of some of the stuff. Uh, another one of my favorite guitar players started in his band. Neil Schoen of Journey. Oh, no shit. Yep. Oh, that's right. That's right. Neil Schoen of Journey, he got his start with Carlos Santana. Yes. Right. In fact, like on Black Magic Woman, the Abraxas album, Neil Schoen's on there. Hmm. Right. Next is a guy who's, uh, he's in, he's very, he's influential, but in my eyes, he's significantly overrated. Slash. I would 
Well, I would say influential, definitely. Yeah, yeah. but I, like I said, I'm not going to argue the influence. Yeah. He's a very See, influential it's funny. Guitar it's funny they're both on the same, because you Fergie and Slash did an album together. I don't care. I'm just saying. Just really, you know. <laughs> Well, next we, next is is one that I'm not familiar with, uh, but she's a, a female, an anomaly. She's a female blues player. I did a little research on her. Really? Sister Rosetta Tharp. That's a name. Yes. I, I, I'm going to have to actually. Old school blues? I, old school blues. Has to be, yeah. Yeah. She was, uh, she was uh, born in, I think, 1910. Yep. So I'm wow. actually, I'm actually going to look up some of her stuff. Yeah. Um, I just printed this list out today. Actually. Okay, but I want to I want to look up some of her stuff. I'm interested to hear what she's all about. Next is another guy you can't under you can't underestimate his influence. Pete Townsend mm-hmm. of the Who, definitely. Oh, I thought he was the bass player. No, that was John Entwistle. Okay, I'm not a big Who fan. Okay, that was the Ox. <laughs> <laughs> the drummer was Keith Moon. All right, way better than John Bonham. All right. I both died the way same way, better. too. Yeah, they both drank themselves to death. Yeah. Um, and Roger Daltrey, of course, was the singer. Of yeah, the yeah, he was an actor, too. Yeah. He's done... Yes. And you better, you bet, you better bet your life. All right. I know some Who stuff. Yeah. That's because you watch CSI. No, I don't watch CSI. <laughs> I can't stand CSI. Next is another legend that we lost far too early. Um, in the great debate... It's always, were you a Randy Rhodes guy? Were yeah. you an Eddie Van Halen guy? Yeah. I'm a Randy Rhodes guy, but I've never, ever downplayed mm-hmm. the influence and the talent of Eddie Van Halen. Mm-hmm. The guy is fucking, he was a, just an amazing player. Yes. And, uh, you know, the, he's another one. That, that is one I don't think you could have just, you needed to even pick one over the other. Like them both. Oh, yeah, I do. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I do enjoy both of them, but. Give me Randy. You notice I have a I have a ja- I have a Jackson Rhodes V. I don't have an EVH Wolfgang. All right. Boom boom. <laughs> but what? Jimmy, what but, did you say? But but to be fair, Jimmy Westerberg does have an EVH Wolfgang. Yes. <laughs> or, no, he doesn't have the EVH. He has a PV Wolfgang. He has the original P. He has one of the old school PV Wolfgang. Oh wow. Yeah, beautiful fucking guitar. Um, next. A guy, you, you, he is the greatest white blues man to ever live. Stevie, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, I thought it was going to be Jeff Healy. Jeff Healy was a great guitar player. We're in, yes. we're in the V. I know, but well, Steve V, I guess. Uh, never mind. I'm gone. Nice try. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Next is one just for Bill. He's not, He's a, he may be influential, but he sucks Shit through a straw. Oh boy, Jack White. <laughs> Fuck you. He is one of the best guitar players. No, out he's not. There. Oh nah. my god, no, he's not. If you just listen to his music and you, hear I have the, 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 the it's the, ass. It's no, it's called discordant tonality, and it's called and only ass. two people understand it. It's called two, two ass. people. What you and him? Hey, it's ass. It's not ass. It's great stuff. No. Fuck you. And as a matter of fact, Icky thump you. Ooh. <laughs> Doug says, Randy and Eddie, both crazy ass talented guitar players. I couldn't pick one or the other. I, I got to agree, Doug. I, they're both crazy ass talented, but I was always a Randy Rhodes guy. Um, fuck. I named my firstborn son after him. Yeah. You know, I named my oldest after, after Randy Rhodes. So, yeah. Next on the list. Another female entrant and... Arena Rock wouldn't be where it is, wouldn't have been what it was without them, without her or and her sister, Nancy Wilson of Heart. Hmm. Okay, oh, yeah, actually an excellent guitar player. I always thought of more as singers. Well, Anne was the singer. Okay, Nancy was the guitar player. Okay, very good guitar player. When I was uh... yeah, Doug, Doug just says Jack White. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, that gets a like. <laughs> That's nepotism. You can't just be liking <laughs> shit that you agree with. Yes, I can. I have the mouse and the monitor. 
You want it? No. <laughs> then, then shut your because fucking, it, <laughs> shut your gulp. There's no dislike on Facebook. Shut your gulp. All that shit away. Well, no, there's there's an angry button. I'm not gonna do the angry button because everybody's got their opinions. I'll do, be I, you, I've used it. <laughs> I've used it. Yes, he has. Uh, next, My Angus Young. Very influential. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. I I won't disagree. Yes, and you know I mean. For people that play a fucking blues box scale, you know, play blues box solos. Yes, it's there. He's never he's never stepped out of his comfort zone, Mm-mm. and it works for him. Yep. F- fucking good on you. Yes. Sally forth and carry on, my friend. And finally, the Godfather of grunge, Neil Young. Yeah. Mm. Doug says, I named my firstborn after petrified pine sap. So there's that. Sorry, Amber. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fucking great, Doug. That's great. You know what? I'm going to call my, I'm going to start calling my sister. Sap. <laughs>